Hello guys. Today we are going to learn how to build a test bench in Verilog. A test bench is basically a module within which we call a main module which is to be tested and give various input to it. We basically give e all the inputs that we have to test a main module with and also monitor the effect of those inputs. The benefits of a test bench are as follows. Firstly, we can test all of the input variables at once, which means that we no longer have to force each and every input one by one using the force command. Secondly, we get a better overview of the working of a design. Most of the time, while forcing the value, we cannot see the actual working of the program as we are too busy while to force it. Thirdly, it saves a lot of time as we do not have to force the value again and again. Once we write the program, it is done. We just have to analyze our waveform. Thirdly, we can also display various characteristics of our program or our design in the transcript window. Till now, we haven't used it, but we will be using the transcript window in this program. You will be seeing how to use it and which system task has to be used in order to display the data in the transcript window. Here we are creating a test bench of a previous program named Fullader. For that, firstly, we define a module named Fullader underscore test bench and we leave the bracket empty. Now we define all of the inputs that are used in the full adder as reg and all of the outputs that are used in the full adder as wire. Now we've called the full adder program and instantiate it as A1. Remember, we have to give the inputs and outputs in the same order as they were declared in the main module. Now we begin our main program by initializing the values. Dollar monitor is a system task which is used to monitor any variable that is defined within it. Here we are monitoring each and every value that is all of the inputs which are A, B, C, I, N and all of the outputs which are sum and C out. Here you can see the proper syntax of writing those. Now we simply give the values to the A, B and C in which are the inputs and we also change the value but we must remember that the values assigned uh, to the A, B, C are at a particular time frame. Now if there is no time delay mentioned it would mean that there is no delay that is the values are assigned at 0th time. If there is time mentioned, that is pound 50, pound 100 or anything else, it would mean that the values are assigned at pound 50 and pound 100. Also know that after initial, we have written begin end. That is, all of the main statements are within begin end. It means that all of the statements would execute sequentially. It would mean that the after the zeroth time, the next value will come at 50 next value and after that at 100 and after that at 150 and so on. Now we simply save our program and compile it and you will see that once we execute it all of the waveforms will be shown at once. You can verify the waveform here on. Thanks for watching.